Hey everyone, it's Jennifer. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you know I love when I do a technique that results in two cards at once, and that's what I have for you today. Now I'm going to show you how to create striped die cuts, and on one of the cards we use the negative space to create this card here. It has a nice raised look that creates a shadow underneath. And then we'll use the other part of the space, the, I guess the inside pieces, to create this card here with some shine around the edge. So first of all, I'm going to start with three pieces of cardstock. These are from My Favorite Things. This is Sour Apple, uh, Jelly Bean Green, and Blue Raspberry, I believe. And I'm just going to cut random strips of cardstock from this I'm using my Fiskars trimmer. Now, this card design would be great to do with just scraps of paper. So you could do like a rainbow uh, effect, or you could use pieces of pattern paper. Definitely would be a good one to use for scraps. But I ended up making a bunch of cards, so I just went ahead and cut some new pieces of cardstock. So now I have a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to cover it completely with adhesive. You could use glue stick here, any kind of adhesive, covered it completely. It just makes it a lot easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and start at one side and start gluing my strips down. Again, these strips are just random widths. It doesn't matter one bit, uh, you know, what they are. If you wanted to, you could cut them all the same. So I'm going to just glue these down and push them up against each other because I want to keep these going as straight as possible. So this just takes a few minutes, doesn't take much time at all, and from this we're going to use pieces for both of the cards. Now once you have that whole white piece covered, you're going to just flip it over and cut off anything that's remaining. So that white cardstock could be any kind of scrap cardstock because you won't actually see it. It's just a backing for all your cardstock strips. So you'll notice that I have some hanging off the long side also because I didn't measure my strips out. That's okay, I can just trim that off. You could use a trimmer or just your scissors. I love these Amplify scissors from Fiskars because they're nice and sharp and long. So they're great for cutting along straight edges like this instead of using your trimmer. Okay, so now that we have this piece, I'm going to get my die out from My Favorite Things. It actually comes with two dies. One is a, uh, the heart with the word love in it, and another is just slightly bigger solid heart. I'm just going to use the love one this time. You can see how they fit inside of each other, but we're just going to use the love one this time. I'm going to put this right onto the center of this uh, pattern paper that we created. I'm going to use a piece of sticky tape just to hold it in place as I run it through my die cut machine. Now you could use any die cut machine for this. I use my Vagabond, but you could use your Big Shot or your Cuddlebug. I actually put a shim in. I put a metal adapter plate under my bottom cutting plate, but you could just add a couple pieces of cardstock if you want to make sure that it cuts through all these layers. But you should be fine cutting through no problem. You could actually leave it that way where it just looks like you've pressed into the paper. That'd be a great card. But what I'm going to do is pop out all these center pieces. And since I had covered that white cardstock really good with adhesive, they all, all the little strips stay in place. Now I decided to trim the top and bottom off a little bit so that I could put this onto a card and have some white showing at the top and the bottom. And I'm using some American Crafts Circle uh, Foam Adhesive. This is a nice thick adhesive. And I'm going to put these around the back space and then I'll add it to the front of a white note card. I'm using a Hero Arts white note card. So you can see that nice raised look. There's nothing behind that Love die cut, but that's okay. It's kind of stretched across there and should be fine. I found this little heart die cut on my floor, actually, this little red heart. So I covered it with some Wink of Stella shimmer, and now I'm adding some glossy accents. And when it dries, it's just this cute little embellishment that just adds a little punch to this card. So you can see how that love looks like it's suspended across the heart. I just love that look. Now I'm going to use the other pieces from the inside of the heart for another card. This one's really quick also. So I also added some shimmer around that white part. So what I'm going to do is take the other heart from this die set, the solid heart, and I'm going to cut one from white cardstock. And now I'm going to take the love heart die and put that right in the center. You can see the trim right around it. I'm going to center it up right on that die, on that die cut, and put some sticky tape on it and then run it through my die cut machine once again. And look at the piece you end up with. It just is this adorable outline heart with the word love on the inside. I just love that you can use these two dies together. So I went ahead and cut another solid heart from that same die, and I'm going to cover this one with adhesive. So I completely covered that heart with adhesive. Now I'm going to lay the love heart right on top of it. And so all those open areas actually have adhesive. So I just take the pieces that I popped out of the first card and fit them in like a puzzle into this. It goes really quick and easy. And because of the detail of those striped pieces in the background there, you really don't need to do much else with the card. Now I did want to show you for these tiny little openings in the, in the letter E and in the letter O, I use my quick sticks. Uh, it's got a little kind of rubbery tip that kind of holds onto a piece as you pick it up and put it into place. It's a great tool to have. 
Now I went ahead and added this to a card that had some blue and green cardstock on it. And I also used my Wink of Stella pen to cover over all the white in the heart and in the word love. And then I put glossy accents on top of it. So it's got this shiny shimmer. It looks better in real life. It's kind of hard to see there in the photo. So there's an idea for using your die cuts with some strips of cardstock just to create two quick cards. If you're interested in any of the products, they're all linked below on YouTube, or you can go to my blog and find much more information. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video.